morning folks, look, daylight, we can actually see. So here we are, back in Portes, start of the first full day. Bit of a nightmare last night as you saw, we sort of, a, we were an, an hour late arriving off the ferry and it was just pitch black unfortunately. So the lads had a quick little taster as to what the week is gonna bring them. Lots of smiley faces last night in the bar. The Scousers ended up out till half three in the morning on an easy night apparently. But this, this is what we wake up to. I love this place, folks, I really do. It is biker heaven on earth. So it's just gonna be a quick fuel stop and then we hit the road. Hoo ha! Look at that. God, I love this place. Nah. Nah, are you kidding me? Oh, James. Do you know what's got a marathon? Oh, I, until 11 11. Could you please repeat that? 11. 11. 11. 11. We want to go to Dijon in that way. That's, That's where we're headed. No, no, um, no, I mean, it's a massive detour. Yeah, and it's tough shit, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Spanish way, innit? Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cheers, boys. <laughs> You're never yeah, gonna this rings a bell, doesn't it? <laughs> you can't make that up just shut the road for a marathon it's gonna be one of those trips in it it's gonna be one of those trips ferries late arrive in the dark and then the first road that we come to is shut act like you're enjoying yourself John <laughs> <laughs> Mud watching the rugby what's the score Mud? It's 23-8 Bruce. Who to? <laughs> Well, I don't like to boast about it, but it is 23-8 to Wales, and we're definitely going to win the World Cup. 23-8 to Wales against Australia. We're actually going to win the World Cup. Yeah, we're going to win the World Cup. Luckily, the road closures have ensured me watching the second half. It's a good day, Bruce. I had a word. Bruce, are you Australian? Get out, mate. Well, we have sat for an hour and three quarters, having a coffee back at the hotel. They've finally opened the road onto the awesome canyon road and look at this for traffic. This is the busiest I have ever, ever seen it. God, what a start to a trip. Please don't be one of them. It's fun and games, isn't it? <laughs> wow, at least you get a chance to look at the scenery for a change. Look how tight that is. <laughs> that is unbelievably tight. <laughs> oh, I think progress is going to be slow on the canyon road. Gutted. Finally, we're on the AS114 towards Kangas de Ones. We're back, baby. We're back.
god, it's good to be back. Ooh -ha. Look at that, how stunning is it out here? Just beautiful. Ooh -ha. Take it easy through the towns and villages, people. Awesome, got Chris behind me now. This is a stunning road, the AS260. It is like this all the way. AS260, honestly folks, what a stonker. There's never normally so much traffic. I'm wondering if September is like holiday time for the Spanish. So never normally see this much traffic here. Find a bit to let Chris by. <laughs> Followed him into that. <laughs> oh, I could see all the leaves and stuff. Oh, I still followed him into it. Man, he's quick. Mind you, that MT10 is impressive. Miles quicker than I am, anyway, as a rider. Look at that bike. Wow. He says he rides that on B mode, not A mode, because he says A is far too abrupt. Which is interesting, because I've heard of a lot of people uh, say that about the MT10, saying the fueling is really sort of binary, on, off, on, off. second gear, second and third, pretty much all the way. There's a beautiful viewpoint up here, I don't know if you'll remember it folks if you've been watching the vids. It's the one where I normally put the drone up. I can't remember what it's called, Mirador, Mirador something. I thought that was a load of gravel there. One of my favourite roads in the world, this. AS260. What a stonker. Yeah, show a little bit of respect to um, walkers and cyclists, even that lady taking a mule for a walk. <laughs> no need to buzz everybody, is there? Especially with our loud cans. Social enough. Whoa. Right, seen some horse poo here, or cow poo, whatever it is. Right, ooh, eh, the cows. It 
is. Try and find somewhere. Go right, bud. I know we stopped here last time, so I thought I'd stop. Yeah, it was, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I not like that? Ooh -ha! That's a bit of fun, isn't it? My birthday. <laughs> Enjoy that? The horses took me by surprise. Yes, yeah, me too, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, just find somewhere to park up and um, have a cup of splosh if you want one. Hey, Ron. Hey. What? What are you thinking so far? Great. The roads are twisty and really good. <laughs> Gosh, that's a shit review, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Wow. People will be flocking here. Go on, Bruce. I'm not smiling all the time. You're a very smiley man. Very photogenic, no, isn't it? Mr. Grumpy, mate. <laughs> you please me, you're doing well, Bruce. <laughs> John? Hello. How's it going? Fabulous. Excellent. <laughs> that's it, is it? That's it. Right, Fabulous. okay. <laughs> oh, and the other Johns having a wee sit down. Sink them up. I don't know if it's just stunned silence, but everybody is normally just very quiet and reserved when you get to the top there, apart from a few times when people have been whooping and hollering. But this group, all very quiet. <laughs> never know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I love those roads and I'm never sure sometimes if people actually enjoy them or not. They're quite technical, very tight. bit of grub there in Kalunga or Kaluna, whatever it's called and it's the last little we run straight to Hihon along the AS258 now there's a stretch along here I always try and avoid every year and every year I fail miserably because it, it sort of ends up into the mountains in here but it ends up being very uh, sort of bumpy and potholy and quite gnarly really so it's fine if you're on the GS or an adventure bike like that but if you're on a sports bike or the like <laughs> it'll knock your fillings out so every year I try and avoid it I try and plot a route that misses it out but every year I fail and I end up down it somehow so let's see I have tried this year we shall see starts off lovely this road but then it goes a bit agricultural well, at least it's not raining. The last few times I've done this, it's been dinging it down with rain, which really hasn't helped matters. Maybe it'll be different in the dry. Fingers crossed. The AS258, that's the name of the road. The AS258, don't do that one. Stop doing the AS258. I keep telling you, you keep doing it. So we've just done that one, I think it was the AS258 and we are now on the AS255 
lovely fast stretch of road this once you get through the wee villages. Biker heaven, I do not know what is. Oh, that'll do for now. Fuel time again. <laughs> They're all very, very quiet. They're a quiet bunch, this, until you add beer. Speaking of which, we're nearly in Hee Hong, which is just over there. Bring it on. Just on the outskirts of Hee Hong, ladies and gents. And that, believe it or not, is a school or a college or something. It's amazing. It's like a Spanish Hogwarts, except not for wizards. Hee Hong's a nice little town, actually. Looking forward to it. Let's see what the night brings. Happy Scouser. <laughs> <laughs> Happy boys. Cheers. Never get drinking with scousers or old boys. This is a boozy trip. So this is the room. It's not bad, is it? Hotel Bagona in Quijon. Good size double bedroom. That is the uh, nerve centre of Teapot One chicken strips. And that's where the magic happens. Oh, yes. <sighs> Steamboats, people. Steamboats. God. The two Johns, they're like 70 odd years of age each. Apologies, Johns, if you're not. You might only be 60s. So I do apologise. But, uh, oh my God, they could drink me under the table. Oh, God. Anyway, tomorrow we hit the road and we are heading just along the coast, only about an hour to Navia, but we're doing a big zigzaggy route. So it's about 130, 140 miles tomorrow. Bring it on. Loving it. Having a great time. And good chat with the boys tonight. They all seem to be enjoying it too. So bring it on. Chris, explain cabbage, cabbage covers the veins. <laughs> As you come round the hairpin, it just opens, doesn't it? And you're like, just the Isle of Man, it's the mountain. Isle of Man.